Hi everyone, this is Dios Graphics, and if you're new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when next I release another video. So, without wasting of your time, today we are going to answer some questions. I'm going to answer some questions that people have been asking. So, the first question is, what kind of pencil do, that, do I use? for sketching what kind of pencil do i use on autodesk so my the answer to this question is i basically use hard pencil for my sketch so i basically, I basically use hard pencil for my sketch then sometimes i do i do use i do use them um, i do use sorry i'm trying to check I sometimes I do use paint pad. Sometimes I do use fine line. But basically, I basically use hard pencil. Most of the times, I usually use hard pencil. So that's the pen. So I use often. Then the second question is how I set my pencil. Yes, you know sometimes when you go into your autodex you see something like this when you you trying to sketch with this particular pencil or any pencil you see something like this it's not like and the, the the edges are not um they are not pointed as you want they are not pointed as you want so and they will not be like it will not be suitable for sketch so in order to get a pointed edge for your pencil what you're going to do is that you click on your hard pencil then when you click on your hard pencil like this then go to your settings then go to size with light pressure so go to size with light pressure then drag it back make it at make it um 0 0.5 0 0.1 so it should be 0 0.1 so i think that we are done we are done with the settings so that's how i set my pencil that's how my, as you can see the the edge are, are tiny the edge are tiny and and the thing is um the more the more you drag it back and you and the more pressure that you you use on it that's what will give you the tiny the tiny edge so if you zoom in your picture and you don't put more pressure on your pencil or on your finger on your thumb it will give you a very thick line so it depends so when you're sketching make sure the pressure you put more pressure on you on dragging your pencil so as to give you a tiny edge like this so that's how it works then the third question is the third question is how i said okay sorry the third question is what opacity do i use for my airbrush so yes people always ask me about these um, settings of airbrush and all those stuff so I'm going to answer you right now so the first of all we are going to start with the a soft airbrush I'm going to start with the soft airbrush so this is the soft airbrush then this is the hard airbrush the soft airbrush this is the settings I mostly use the settings are mostly used for the soft airbrush I mostly use it like this the opacity is mostly as at 50 unless unless my work doesn't require a high opacity so i'm going to reduce it and to let's say i'm going to reduce it to let's say 35 35 okay like this so when my work when i'm i'm, I'm shading when my work doesn't require much um opacity on the airbrush i do reduce it to 35 but when i'm working on the normal on the normal ground so i'm using 50 so they are not there's no there's no difference between the two shower but i do reduce it to 35 sometimes i do reduce it to 50 so this is for the air soft airbrush then the hard airbrush i use mostly use them um, i mostly use 50 for the dark sheet that's when i'm shading on the darker darker part of the picture so i use 60 
and sometimes if I want it to be more darker I make it I make it 80 I make it 80 that is for the dark sheet that's when I'm shading a particular dark area on the picture so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and drop any question you want on the comment box I will answer you on my next video so thanks for watching